Hey everyone, this is Wickerman and we're back with Hearts of Iron 4 as the UK. And it looks like the momentum is kind of slowing down up here in Germany. So pretty soon it might be time to stop the advance and see if we can rebuild our planning bonus. However, down in Italy, we are looking pretty good. Uh, looks like, wh which one is preparation bonus? I think it's... Yeah, this, this one here. Looks like we're all set. And what's your complaint? Actually, you're doing just fine. And yeah, you're doing great. So, we will advance. See if we can take Italy out. Do we have air support? We do in the Alpine. Uh, Italy goes up to there. So, why can't I use Piedmont? Don't quite understand that. I guess maybe because we don't control the whole state. We will very shortly. Alright. Nothing going on here in Africa, yet the United States insists on sending their volunteers over here. Uh, let's go ahead and take these expeditionary forces. And I don't know. We'll just... Why don't you just go... Till London or somewhere. And I think there was some in Canada that we got too that we never did anything with. Is that right? Oh, there's one. We'll just re send you guys over here and... At some point, we might use you. Yeah, that's right. So I've got an entire task force here that we basically don't have supplies for. So they're just waiting. So yeah, I think I will... I will go ahead and order... I will go ahead and order the armies to... halt their plan there in Germany for now. Southeast Asia, we don't have air superiority, but that's... Whoa, we lost it here. They just deployed 300 fighters. Alright, well. Do I have any that I can deploy? I've got some Spitfires. Let's send 200 of those guys. And I think now is the time to go ahead and see if we can establish air superiority. Hopefully our planes are better. There's a good chance they are. Okay, yeah, we're still looking good there. Uh, naval bombers, how many do we got? We have a surplus of 80. Now, we were going to go ahead and deploy those in Hong Kong. Yeah, let's just deploy what we have. We've got 80 of those fellas. Mostly number one, which is kind of annoying. But that's fine. They'll go ahead and... Yikes. Yeah, hopefully they'll replace those fairly quickly. Not enough oil or steel. But how are we doing with factories? We don't... We just don't have enough. That's... That's a problem. Well, we'll do our best. Uh, so, I checked on... Conscription law here. And we need estimated enemy strength ratio of ratio of 60% or more compared to our army. I think that means the enemy has to have an army that is like 60% bigger than ours. Which currently is not the case. It looks like, you know, we're kind of destroying their manpower.
So we may not be able to do that, but that's kind of a good sign that we can't, to be honest. Because that means that they don't have much manpower left. Now, they could just as easily change their law, but yeah, I don't know where they are as far as that goes. I still think this is a pretty good plan and is basically what we want to do. So we're not going to make any changes. We're just going to build up the planning bonus. And tower supplies. Looks like... I, I bet we could go ahead and put these guys in. And not have a problem. So we're going to just have you go over the entire... German front. And you're just going to spread out and give us some support. Because these guys aren't that great. They're missing a lot of equipment. I wonder if the home country has to provide that and that's why we can't uh, do it. Well, maybe not. We do have an 11k shortage of infantry equipment. Probably because we've been focusing on the uh, planes. Tell you what, let's cancel. What should we cancel? Oh, we just need it all. Okay, I, I don't think we need this anti-air. So we're going to eliminate that from our, what we need. That's kind of silly to do a 22 combat width. All right, there we go. Tank brigades. Colonial Garrison. Yeah, I did do most of this last time, but I just want to double check because I'm not sure why I had a 22 combat with infantry there. All right. That is uh, good enough. Toad anti-air, let's cancel that construction. We do not need it at the moment. Alright, are we doing anything else that we don't need? No. Although I suppose we can reduce that. And... Cancel that. Okay. I think I'm satisfied for now. Italy. Let's get them. Need some of my mountaineers here. Any tanks in your divisions? Probably not. Do we have some hanging around Britain? No. Alright. Pop over here. Huh. Oh, the British Raj has been invaded. Alright, this is what I was wondering about. Looks like, hopefully, we will have this taken care of. Uh, how's your ship count doing there, buddy?
You're looking pretty okay. Oh, don't do that. What are you thinking, buddy? I guess canceling repairs makes it that way. Oh, you're you're not on a mission, are you? Let's merge these folks. Air wings with no missions. Okie dokie, search. Oh no, they're repairing, which is fine. We're just under the capacity, so that's that's good. We're not over it. That would make the repairs much slower. Uh, which which air unit? Oh, I bet they ran out of planes because. Yeah, we should put these guys on that. Battleship, huh? Uh, don't do that infinitely. Just make one of those. And then we'll probably switch to carriers after that. Do a couple of those. We just don't want to see the red coming towards us. Still can't use this puppy. Okay, do we have tanks that can be deployed? Those aren't doing too bad. We don't have tanks just hanging out here, do we? Well, we'll just let that go. I mean, theoretically, they should still be pushing. I, I mean, I think their plan indicator has gone down because they're not in position because they're actually advancing. I'm going to put you on aggressive as well. Let's get in there. new plane, which is our strategic bomber. It's only 1941. It feels much later because we started the war very early. These are all destroyers. We do have a lot of battleships, so we'll go ahead and try that. Resistance in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Well, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Because we don't really want to deploy useless cavalry. You know, instead of the anti-air, we probably should have done tank... Uh, artillery. Belgium, thank you, sir. Uh, it's not all of them. 
That's even less of them. There we go. All right. So we've got Benelu Brotherhood. So these guys. Uh, those are probably generals because I got 24. So I'll just assign you guys to the field marshal. Which is Army 2. Uh, I think it's the teal. Yep, there we go. And they're actually already there anyway. Uh, I don't think this group has an advance queued up. Since you're on the entire line, we'll just do a general advance through there. It's a massive plan, but Okay, good. Let's check the report to see how we're doing. We've lost 130, 140, they've lost 189 fighters. So we're doing a slight advantage. Oh, we can do service by requirement though. That's probably a good idea. Nice. Be in good shape for a while now. What was it that we made now? Could just research that and bypass it. Uh, we need to do land doctrine. I guess we'll get started even though there's no bonus. Because I don't know that we have a bonus. Hang on, why are we doing this? That's silly, dude. Uh, upgrade our destroyers for sure. All right. Strategic bomber. Lancaster. Haven't researched that yet. Typhoon. Okay, that's close air support. That makes sense. I think we're going to need a lot more of those for upgrades. And you know, I'm really seriously considering changing my economy law too. Because... Yeah, we're exporting a lot of stuff that we actually need. And then we're having to re-import it, like aluminum, steel. Oil, we'll still need that for sure, but. Ooh, that'll be good. Okay, we've got some manpower now. 
So, did we ever research military police? No. That's fine. We'll do that. We're going to need it fairly soon. Come on, guys. How can you have not done this yet? Is there close air support in this region? Yeah, you've got plenty. Stacking penalty. Coordinating too many divisions is difficult. Well, they've got a decryption advantage. It's not good. All right, aircraft production group. Which reduce the cost by 10% of fighters which is amazing. What should we do next? How are we on ships? We do need the carrier, we could do that. That makes some sense to do carrier focus. How big is that stacking penalty? Finally got Milan. I think that's gonna be sort of our breakthrough moment there. Because I am imagining these provinces don't have nearly the defense. So hopefully now we can secure most of Northern Italy. I think that's entirely possible. Uh, we desperately need more civilian factories. Put that on whales for now. But the big thing we're going to have to do is probably change our economy law. Yeah, I think it's it might be worth going ahead and researching anti-tank artillery. Because that's going to help us advance against Germany. So, uh, we need more hard attack. That's the problem. So with that in mind, let's take a look. Ah, fantastic. Now, with historical focuses on, what are you up to? Anti-fascist diplomacy. United States. That 
looks pretty good. So he's kind of on the road to wall to war. So so like an Operation Barbarossa. That he might take. I don't see that anywhere. But there's got to be something. Gotta be something. Well, anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll continue our fight for Northern Italy in the next episode.